Hi everyone, Miss Diorio here from Citizenship Academy with your read aloud for today. And with today's read aloud, I brought a very special friend. Let's beat the cat! Woohoo! He's going to join us for today's read aloud because I am reading a very special Pete the Cat book. Now the reason I am reading these Pete the Cat books with little Pete the Cat here is to give you a hint, wink wink, about what we're going to do tomorrow on our very special first grade super exciting Zoom party. Remember, 9 a.m. Friday morning, all of your favorite first grade teachers were going to be on Zoom. We'd love for you to join us for a big end of the year Zoom party. This is giving you a little bit of a hint what we're going to be doing. But for now, we're going to read the story called Pete the Cat and the New Guy. There's Pete and all of his friends. Pete the Cat and the New Guy. Sunday and Pete's friends had come to play. They were rocking to a new song when beep, 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 there was a noise coming from across the street. Wise old owl had a view from his tree. Pete said, hey owl, what do you see? Owl said, all I see are green shoes and a red hat. Pete answered, sounds like my kind of cat. Pete could not imagine who this new guy could be. I really hope it's a new friend for me. On Monday, Pete wanted to say hi, but he was feeling kind of shy. So he just rode by and by and by. Until finally, Pete got to meet the new guy. Pete said, I've never met anyone quite like you. You seem like a duck and like a beaver too. The new guy said to Pete, Hi, my name is Gus. Glad to meet you. I'm a platypus. Pete said, you're not like me, and I'm not like you, but I think being different is really very cool. On Tuesday, Pete and Gus went for a walk down the street. They came to Squirrel, who was playing in a tree. Hi, Gus, said Squirrel. Climbing is easy. Try and see. Gus gave the tree a try, but the branch was way too high. I wish I could climb like you, but climbing is something I just can't do. Pete said, don't be sad, don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. On Wednesday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. They came to Pete's friend, Grumpy Toad, who said, come play leapfrog with me. Jumping is easy. Try and see. Gus jumped and leaped, but he couldn't get over Toad or Pete. I wish I could jump like you, but jumping is just something I cannot do. Pete said, don't be sad, don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. On Thursday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. Soon they saw Octopus, who said, come juggle with me. Juggling is easy. Try and see. I wish I could juggle like you, but juggling is something I just can't do. Pete said, don't be sad. Don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. On Friday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. Gus said, I can't juggle or jump or climb a tree. It's no fun around here for me. On Saturday, Pete, Pete hoped Gus would come out to play. I wish Gus wasn't sad. I wish Gus wasn't blue. I wish there was something we could do. Just then, Pete heard a groovy sound. It was coming from across the street. Gus was rocking to his own beat. Sweet! Pete said, check out Gus the platypus. He found something cool he can do with us. Playing the drums, that's awesome. It says tap, thump, thump, tap. Let him go. 
he's not sad, he's not blue, Gus found something that everyone can do. Yeah, now they're all friends jamming out on the Gus bus. The end. I hope you like this Pete the Cat story, and I will see you guys tomorrow at 9 a.m. on Zoom for our first grade party. Have a good day.